Why am I starting off my videos standing up when I'm normally sitting in that stupid gamer chair? Because it's Freeform Friday, peeps, and it's right here on Geargasms. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. It is... <laughs> Should I leave that in? Hi everybody, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. Today it's Freeform Friday. I'm standing up. I feel so free, not sitting in that chair. And looky here, oh, sooky, sooky. Now, I gotta just see how many people switch off the video right then and there, off the get-go. It's gonna plummet in audience retention, but there was a point to that. Besides grossing you out, that's a 55-year-old man underneath this t-shirt. And you know what? That brings me to my first topic of the day, internet bullying. Now, internet bullying, you could argue that it's a bad thing. It's probably a bad thing. People get their fee-fees hurt. It can have some serious, serious outcomes. But my generation, I come from a long line, a generation of, of ages of people who got bullied from the time we were toddlers all the way up through our adult life, really. It kind of sucks, but it kind of has some benefit. To wit, my YouTube comments are some of the meanest in the business. I have some really, really horrible, horrible people that make really, really ugly comments on YouTube. Nothing's off limits. But we kept coming back to a couple of things, recurring themes. Number one, you're fat. Dude, you're fat. These are men telling me I'm fat. Oh, and there I go again. So I could just cry and curl up about it and suck my thumb and feel sorry for myself. Or I could get off my ass and lose some fucking weight, which is what I did. 35 LBs in a year. If he wanted a pig, why didn't he just take my wife? <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Conway Twitty. Pass a road to your house That you never call home Where they turned out the lights Though they say you'll never know I remember running through the wet grass Falling a step behind Both of us never tiring Desperately wanted When they pumped out your guts Filled you full of those pills You were never quite right Deserving of chills Say the worst is over When they turn you on again They turn you on again The other number two recurrent theme All kinds of criticism about the guitar playing I'm not the only channel that gets it I see it all over the place People get behind the keyboards And they're musical geniuses And they got nothing but criticism for what you do But there were some things in there That were absolutely on point The funniest Maybe the meanest one I ever got was somebody said that my vibrato was epileptic. And he was right. I needed work on it. And so I've been working on it. And I can hear the difference. I'm being more conscious of string noise when I'm playing. I'm being more conscious of my tuning. All that kind of stuff. So all I'm saying is, internet bullying, it seems like it's a bad thing. But if it can induce you to make positive changes, why not? Just trying to show you the other side of internet bullying. So keep the bullying comments coming. Now you may have seen this little guy on the set of Geargasms. I'm so sorry I haven't had a chance to introduce you to him. This is Mini Me. He came at Christmas time. Does it look like me? He's got a lot of forehead and profile. That's a really, really long head. Kind of has a, a butt head. Chris Collinsworth sort of length to it. I think he looks more like Bob Vila than me, but they got the beard. Looks like he just got a fresh coat of Just For Men in there. I don't know if you can see, but when he's standing straight up, he's leaning back. 
I just pull up my pants and do the rock away. Lean back. Lean back. You think I'm kidding? I got a whole closet full of Air Force Ones. I'm legit. I'm a 55 year old white man, but I got the closet of a baller or a rap star. I'll put it on the screen right back there. I ain't kidding. Look at that. Air Force Ones, as far as the eye can see, it's a sickness. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. So I'm going to keep Mini Me on the set here. I'm going to put it right next to the jukebox. You know, the first thing I thought of when I saw this little guy is, I wonder what it would feel like if I stuck it in my butt. And the second thought I had was, maybe I shouldn't tell people about the first thought. Aww. Yikes. I could use a distraction right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Conway Twitty. I remember running through the wet grass, falling a step behind. Both of us never tired, desperately wanted. Keep them right in the face. Make them wish they weren't born. If they bring up your name, we'll save you. Baby burst in the world Never given a chance Then they ask what went wrong When you never had it right No, you never had it right I remember running through the wet grass Falling a step behind both of us never tired, desperately wanted. I remember running through the wet grass, falling a step behind. Both of us never tired, desperately wanted. So it's Freeform Friday, and I like to do an unboxing. Sandy brought me some Funko Pop, and I asked for the most rock and roll thing you can get in a Funko Pop. The OG, Satan, the devil. Now Funko Pop makes rock and roll and, and, and pop culture icons. You can't get more iconic with pop culture than the devil. Satan is present in all of pop culture. Even this show. Satan, forget about Elvis Presley. This here is the king of rock. But they only have one dirty devil in Funko Pop. There's just one. And guess who makes it? You see that? That's who makes the only devil Funko Pop. Disney. You might say to yourself, that's pretty ironic. Or, you might say to yourself, that makes total sense. Let's see if I can smell brimstone when I pull them out of the box, injure myself. Old YouTuber injures himself unboxing devil Funko Pop. On his YouTube channel, wouldn't that be poetic justice? Oh, I, me likey. Man, he is tight. He is tight. Check him out. I like him. Even out of the box, even better. Nothing comes in it, just air. No brimstone. And he's cool. He's got his little pitchfork. Bye, bye, Miss American Pie. Woe to you, O earth in the sea. For the, the devil, devil sends, sends the beast with wrath, because he knows the time is short. Let, Let him who him hath understanding reckon, reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. Its number is 666. All right, it's time for Rarely Asked Questions. I know it's a Freeform Friday favorite. Rarely Asked Questions. There's only one this episode, hence the title. And boy, is it a doozy. This question is... Is a queef considered a respiratory event? And if so, can it spread COVID-19? Asking for a friend. Well, asking for a friend. We've all spent some time around windy women. I ain't mad at you. I ain't judging you. Depends on the kind of queef we're talking about. If it's just kind of a lazy Saturday night 45-year-old wife queef, and you're a couple feet away, you're probably good to go. 
if it's more like a sneeze, like a queef sneeze, like a queeze, probably going to want to have a shield. And that, peoples, is rarely asked questions. The problem now is that these people are expecting a show. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Conway Twitty. Take back your life Let me inside We'll find the door Can't get to anymore I remember running through the way grass Falling a step behind Both of us never tired Desperately wanted I remember running through the wet grass, falling a step behind. Both of us never tired, desperately wanted. Now let's be honest, I'm sucking my gut in a little bit. Don't you wish you could suck your man boobs in? You can pull your shirt up, you can suck your gut in, you can look pretty tight. But then you got those pendulous man boobs just a dangling there. And five little lungs in them. I could do that. <laughs> or maybe I could just hold my ears and go and suck these man teats in. Maybe I need liposuction. Have I lost everyone here? Honestly, I just really wanted to pull my shirt up for my 99.9% .9 male audiences who's between the ages of 35 and 55. I know it turned your boys on. Got to do what you got to do <laughs> to get the views coming in. Well, what did we learn today? We learned that suddenly I feel self-conscious holding this pink guitar, having wondered aloud about putting a figurine of myself into my rectum. But it's not gay if it's you, right? We also learned that internet bullying, it has its place, it has its value, so keep that hate coming, people. We also learned that I wish that I could suck my man boobs in the same way I can my gut. I ain't trying to hurt anybody with these bro cones. We also learned that only Disney makes the devil, or did the devil make Disney? As always, a thank you for your time. Don't forget to hit the like button, smash that subscribe button. Tell all your low rent white trash friends about Geargasms. I know you got them. Would you like to buy one of these new t-shirts? We got them up in the Teespring store. Link is in the description. You can follow Geargasms on the Book of Faces. You can follow Geargasms on the Twitter, on the Instagram. It's Geargasms on all the socials. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell Satan about it because he's busy working on his new Disney Pixar joint. But play more guitar, watch less YouTube, and keep coming back here week after week for more Geargasms.